Okay, ito ang pinakamalapit na balita. Kasi medyo matagal ko nang inaantay. Actually, lahat naman iniintay na ito eh. Um, everybody has predicted that uh, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte will um, not pursue yung re-election niya uh, para mayor ng Davao but instead yung he, she'd be uh, uh, running for the national elections. Ang tanong, e eh kung ano ngayon ang kanyang tatakbuhan? Kung president or vice president? Which is, kumbaga, <laughs> ano na sa akin to eh? Ako kasi, I'm not really that that political uh, at all. It may seem like it, but not really. Ako kasi, in, in, inilalagay ko yung, yung destiny ko sa sarili kong kamay. I don't, I rarely depend on the government. Well, probably the government helps me um, in many ways that I seldom notice. Of course, the infrastructures are there. Uh, yung, uh, yung mga electricity and the things that that run the economy. Siyempre, nakakatulong sa akin yun as a, uh, as a person living in modern times. But in terms of uh, determining my future, the things that I want to do in life, uh, yung success na ma-achieve ko sa buhay ko, I put that on my own shoulders. I don't really uh, depend on the gov- government para ayusin yun para sa akin. Di ba? If uh, I do well, then good for me. That is the goal. But if I, do, if I don't do as well as I want to, ako yun. That's on me. Di ba? Unless blatantly merong ibang factors pero it's not like me to to blame other people much less the government for the things that I, that happen to me personally that thi- especially the things that I can control in my life well uh, that's just my personal philosophy okay uh of course um <laughs> so <laughs> my point is <laughs> nawala ako eh so my point is kumbaga um yung mananalo sa election na to although i care uh, about it i'm not gonna cry over it kung hindi manalo yung gusto kong yung binoto kong kandidato kung ano mang mangyari after the election um it is what it is when duterte president duterte uh, the current president rodrigo duterte won uh, in 2016 i kind of I kind of parang, what? Fuck, parang ganun yung ano ko eh. Kasi hindi, hindi ko naman siya binoto. Although hindi ko rin binoto si, si Mar Rojas. Kasi wala talaga ako may iboto noon. I left the president ballot blank. Wala akong nilagay na presidente. Uh, that's uh, as much as I can say about the last time I voted. So, kasi wala talaga akong ano eh. I couldn't make myself to vote for any of the candidates back then. Um, when Duterte parang won, parang, eh, bakit naman ito, di ba? Pero then, but then again, later on, parang, what am I gonna do? Yan ang nanalo eh, di ba? Yan ang nanalo. Parang, ang, ang lagi ko sinasabi, ano eh, ah, yan yung nakayanan ng Pilipino. Yan yung estado ng society natin right now. Whether we like it or not, this is, ano eh, this is our, this is the nation who spoke. So, I didn't like it at all. Kumbaga, ang daming, ang daming matatalinong Pilipino, ang daming mga Pilipino na na world class na pwede mong pwede makipagsabayan sa world stage. Probably more knowledgeable. Uh, but, uh, yun eh. Yun yung, yun yung pinakinggan ng masa eh. So, who am I to to question the wisdom of the of the Philippine electorate but then again uh we can, that doesn't mean that we cannot criticize uh whichever administration comes uh, comes in and wins okay so that's uh that's what i can say about that um teka pero ngayon eto <laughs> Sara Duterte Carpio withdrew her bid for election as uh, mayor 
in Davao. And ito ang pinakamatinding. Since wala na talaga akong masyadong pakialam kung sinong manalo. Very little. Kung baga, um, I have my my own bets. Pero kung, kung ano yung manalo, hindi, ako, hindi na ako aangal. Diba? Unlike before. Parang siguro it took me two months before. Parang ah, yan talaga eh. Diba? Pero ngayon, whoever wins, that's it. Kasi pointless na, mag, na kumbaga, I, I made an assessment about myself na parang eh, mababad trip ako, mababad trip lang ako araw-araw nito. Parang I may not like the president, but alam mo yun, hindi ko, kumbaga, I, my own principle still tells me that I control my own life. So what does that have to do with me? Of course, not everyone. I, I would, I would, uh, recognize that there are people who really depend on the government for their di ko alam kung paano kasi di ko yun experience but uh, if there are people it's not a uh, knock on them okay so since uh, si Duterte <laughs> ito matindi nito si Duterte Sara and Bongbong Marcos the leading candidate well actually biglang hindi siya leading candidate nung huling polls. Pero I still believe that uh, Bongbong and Sara are the strongest candidates in the election. Ang determining factor lang nito, ang clincher niyan, is whether Sara will run as president or vice president. And as, kumbaga, ako mangmimiro na lang ako eh. Mangmimiro na lang ako sa, <laughs> sa election. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung paano, how... <laughs> how their fan base bases naging dalawa na eh dati kasi isa lang yan eh how it will split into two kasi kanina uh, in this uh, account I'm following Thinking Pinoy and uh, nagla-live stream siya kanina and alam mo yun parang parang hirap na hirap siya na naisipin kung anong gagawin kung si Sara ba ay kakandidato as president or vice president. Kasi we know how politics goes in the Philippines. Of course, may mga dirty uh, uh, dirty side dyan. Either sa dilawan ka or sa DDS ka or KS ko ka. Meron mga dirty tactics na inahanda yan. And um, the alleged troll farms on from any side. Parang how are they attack each other? Especially the DDS who, who are supportive of uh, BBM as well. Kung ka, hindi ko alam. Will Thinking Pinoy attack Sara Duterte? Kasi Thinking Pinoy had been ano siya, parang pro-Marcos talaga siya. Uh, she, he had uh, been meeting with the Marcos family and but at the same time Isang, isa siya sa mga vocal DDS vloggers. Vloggers, quote-unquote, or influencers. Diba? So, anong, anong mangyayari kung anong mag-so-short circuit ba ang utak ni Thinking Pinoy? Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Hindi ko alam. So, di ko, ah, so that's a very interesting um, thing to uh, think about. Which is, ngayon, di ko alam. Kasi malay mo, nag-announce na pala si Sarah. Natatakbo pala siya, di ba? As president or vice president. Mag-refresh tayo. <laughs> Baka may breaking news. Let's see. Pero I think, uh, within this week, anong date na ba ngayon? 10? Wednesday? I think by Friday, we're gonna find uh, find out the answer kung... kung uh, president or vice president ang tatakbuhan ni Sarah. Uh, hindi ko, parang, parang ang baduy naman kung isasagad nila ng, uh, sa November 15. Kasi there's also uh, a news, eto, just in, ay hindi yan. Um, meron ding news na si Bongo is, uh, eto, eto. Aspiring VP and Senator Bongo says his plans for 2022 may change as the deadline for substitution of candidates near. Okay? So, iniahanda na nila 
kung ano, kung alin yung, kung baga pwede kang, uh, na, okay, parang pwede ako mag, uh, umatras sa candidacy ko. Si Bato, sinabi na rin yun last time, na parang pinipilit niya pa rin si Sarang kum- uh, kumandidato as president, and, uh, pag ginawa niya yun, uh, Bato will be, will happily give up his seat, his uh, slot para sa election for Sara. And, I don't know. <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Kanina, na, na, nakinig ako ng konti dun sa live stream ni Thinking Pinoy eh. Kasi I'm really, I'm really curious kung, kung paano nila i-handle yun. Yung idea na maglalaban si Sarah at si Bongbong. Kasi a lot of the the BBM uh, fan base, hindi oh, ko alam, supporters, supporters na lang, di fan base. A lot of the BBM supporters, I think, parang, thinks of this idea that they are, that they will be allies, magkakampi sila, that Uh, Duterte and Asara and BBM will be president and vice president with BBM as president. But then again, if you go back to the to the polls before, uh, Sara Duterte was leading, leading si Sara Duterte at one point, and nung hindi pa nag announce ng candidacy yung mga yung mga candidates, ah, yung mga COCs hindi pa na file. The Sara Duterte is leading. So ngayon, that means na pwede siyang manalo as president. So why would would you give why would you give up your your slot as president kung pwede ka namang manalo noon? Di ba? This is ano, this is uh, this is Game of Thrones shit. Di ba? Ikaw ba kung alam mo na ano ka, pwede kang maging presidente? Alam mo yun, ba, dahil mabait ka lang, parang ganun. Pwede. Pwede nga, uh, maybe Sarah would would think that she is not yet ready for to become president. She would try her, she would like to try her hand as vice president muna. Pwede naman yun. So, that's why she will, uh, kumbaga, let uh, BBM take the presidential, kumbaga, slot. Doon sa magiging vice president na lang siya. And that's if uh, they team up at all. Kasi pwedeng hindi eh. Di ba? Pwedeng hindi sila mag-team up. That could be uh, in the playbook as well. Parang um, si uh, si Sarah could be could just run as uh, vice president na walang walang president. Parang may Di ba? <laughs> Kasi si si ano si Bongo parang hindi naman siya vice president ni Bato eh. Mag, magkasama ba sila? I think they are pala. Pero doon pa lang kay Bato at kay Bongo parang duda na ako eh. Kasi kung sa lang dalawa yung magti-team up, eh di ma- dapat si, pre- si president si Bongo kaya <laughs> vice president si Bato, di ba? Kaya alam mong alam mong phoning phone yung ano eh, yung yung uh, discard ng dalawa. Which is Kumbaga, alam naman nating lahat. And it's within the law. Kung nandun may provision about substitution. Okay. Okay. Then so be it. Uh, they're not fooling anyone already. Although, what the, what these uh, moves do is create new, cy- new cycles. ba diba? So, pag-uusapan. Pag-uusapan yan. Uh, biglang, when uh, Duterte finally... Uh, kumbaga tinigil niya yung pag uh, uh, finally announced before President Duterte ha, uh, in 2016 na okay hindi ako tatakbo talaga ako di ba e di malaking balita yun di ba uh, these uh, moves are designed to create big new cycles that would go around uh, and uh, make people talk about them all the time which is which is brilliant if if that if uh kung political strategy ang gagawin mo especially in a country like the Philippines that is that is uh it worked diba it works um meron akong nakausap dati na taga Davao parang ano na raw dati, dati pa ni Duterte yan parang discarded niya 
So, I don't know kung... Yun lang gusto ko malama. Gusto, gusto, kong, gusto kong makita. How will the... The, 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 the DDS... Uh, how will the DDS... Um, tawag dito? React against BBM. Will it be... Will they play dirty against each other? And the and the vice versa, di ba? Yung mga BBM, kasi dati, alay sila eh. If Sara Duterte runs as VP ni BBM or not, just as VP, as a solo candidate, di ko alam kung may ganun nang nangyari before, basta, then, wala. All that's na si Lenny. <laughs> It's just, uh, numbers lang. Numbers lang tayo, ha? Kumbaga, yun yung ano natin. Uh, I'm just talking about the numbers. O, tumaas na naman si Marcos. Ano nangyari dito? May bago bang survey? What the hell? May bago bang, may bago bang survey? Teka, tingnan natin. November 2, may bagong labas. Manila Times. Woo, meron pala. Damn. 68%. 68% na si BBM. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Paano pa matata? Paano pa mahabol yan? Paano pa mahabol yan? Sino yung, sino yung second? Uh, let's see. Uh, BBM, nasan yun? 68% Moreno at number 2 is at 7. Ah, di, di pala number 2. Di pala ano to. Sino tong? 7.9 si Isko. Pacquiao, 7.2. Robredo, probably second at 10.7%. Wala na. Wala na to. Sorry. Sorry to uh, the supporters of the other candidates. This is uh I don't know if uh, if the election will happen today then yan. <laughs> 68%, almost 70% are voting for Marcos. But then again, like I was saying, Um, if uh, the Lenny people and, and the Isco people um, have a chance into at least making this uh, a close fight or at least get back into the fight Sara Duterte needs to run as president diba? yun ang ipagdasal nila na, na tumakbo as president si Sara kasi yun lang, dun lang sila makakahabol kasi that's the only way that this 68% will be uh, split how much is the que- is the question kasi dito sa huling dito but nawala yung ano nag, nag- number 1 si Isko <laughs> nag number 1 si Isko ito di ba noong uh, noong October 17 to 26 wow what happened within 20 uh, October 26 to November 2 Wow, ang weird ng ano, ang weird ng ang weird ng polling. To those who are who who do not believe the polls, wala akong magagawa sa inyo. Pero this this is the only figures we have. <laughs> okay? So kung naniniwala man kayo dito, hindi uh, ako I do not have 100% uh, trust in the polls, pero amongst every other metric available, ito yung pinaka pinaka qualified na pwede mong paniwalaan. Ito yung pinaka papaniwalaan ko. Not 100% but uh, at least this, these, uh, these are scientifically done. ba? Diba? Kung may corruption sa paggawa nito, hindi ko na alam. Uh, it's not on me anymore. But uh, 68% man. 68%. Hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari. Then again, Sara Duterte, ilan ilang porsyento ang ang makukuha niya from that 68%. And also, uh, she could also play safe. ba? Diba? Parang sure win na rin siya as VP. Malamang. And then, kalaban niya pala si Tito Soto eh. Hindi ko... I don't know, malamang din naman. Hindi <laughs> naman siguro mananalo si Tito Soto. Hindi hindi natin alam, hindi natin alam. Uh, but uh 
things are looking dire on the Lenny campaign. And uh, again, um, it doesn't help dun sa mga pinagpo-focus ng mga supporters niya is uh, until now, they just keep on ragging on BBM. BBM sa uh, kaso ngayon, yung kaso naman ni BBM before, yung tax evasion case niya, yung conviction niya before. Dati, last week, it was the diploma. Diba? Yun yung mga issues. Uh, to me, kasi, okay, those are no-nonsense things, but it doesn't hindi talaga yun makakatulong eh. ba? Diba? <laughs> hindi siya, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, kumbaga, scratch BBM's chances. The only thing that, uh, that it does is people keep talking about BBM. Even his, uh, his, uh, detractors, yung mga, hindi, mga, mga anti-Marcos, you, parang in effect they are campaigning for him kasi yun ang, yun, yun din ang sinasabi mo eh kumbaga it, uh, again i would compare it to Trump and Hillary Clinton back in the U, sa US in 2016 din ata 2015 the campaigns yung campaign ni Hillary parang wala rin silang masabi kundi Trump 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 orange man bad di ba so you you're supposed to be campaigning for your candidate and uh, ang nangyayari uh, mas mabilis, mas madalas mo pang banggitin yung pangalan ng kalaban so ganun din ang nangyayari with BBM and and the Lenny team but <laughs> nagulat ako dito kakalabas lang pala kailan ba lumabas tong tong uh, poll na to 68% i don't know i think uh, mathematically speaking obliterated na yung iba <laughs> others na nga lang iba 2.2.0% hmm but then again ang mangyayari kung balik tayo doon kay Sara running how will the DDS supporters split DD uh, DDS versus BBM ang mangyayari hindi ko pa alam babantayan natin yan okay yun lang masasabi ko. <laughs> I, I suppose uh, wala na akong madadagdag doon. Let's uh, move on to other news sa stream. Hmm. Isa pa dun sa... Hmm, wag na nga, wag na nga. Iba naman. <laughs> Tignan natin to, COVID. This brings the, the country's total... Hmm. Ayokong buksan. Tignan natin. Ito dapat. Ito dapat ang mga ginagawa ni Lenny. Diba? Ito dapat yung sineshare ng mga followers niya. Hindi yung mga hindi yung diploma ni BBM, 'di ba? Pakita nila na may ginagawa si Vice President. Yun dapat ang gawin, 'di ba? Kasi yun ngang alleged yung yung sinasabing billiones na ninakaw ni Bongbong Marcos ng pamilya Marcos, wala silang pakialam doon eh, 'di ba? Yung diploma pa ba? Yun pa bang magpapalit ng utak nila? Hindi na, di ba? <laughs> Wala nga silang pakialam dun sa mga, ano eh, sa mga human rights violation and dun sa mga, sa, sa Guinness Book World Records na, na corruption. Yun pa bang diploma? Ang po problemahin? Kumbaga, it's, a, it's just common sense, man. 